Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Hey, I've got something I'm thinking about doing with the Tacoma, and I want an opinion from you guys. But before we get to that, I had somebody leave a comment on the channel the other day regarding fuel economy, miles per gallon. And they said, or they asked rather, does colder weather yield better fuel economy in the Toyota Tacoma? In other words, when it gets cold outside, do we get better gas mileage? I was wondering about that myself. You know, we had this cold front go through and I've been driving around the last two or three days and it's been cold. Cold for here, 55, 45, 58 degrees, whatever. And I had filled up the tank, so I'm driving on a tank that's primarily been consumed during cold weather. So I'm gonna take a look, I haven't yet, at my own trip meter. This isn't hand calculated, this is machine calculated or AI calculated. So let's take a look, let me move it over. First I gotta hit the right button here. Wow, 17.1 miles per gallon. Well, that's definitely better than the 14.7 or whatever it is I get, somewhere in that range, 14.6, 14.9. So I'm getting uh, two point some odd better miles per gallon uh, than I get usually. Is it due to the cold weather? I don't know. Right now it's 56 degrees out here. It is windy, but I'm kind of doing a, a course around the block. So I'm getting wind from all directions, I guess, as I'm driving around. So I can't say that it's because I've got wind pushing me from the back. In other words, like a sail. You know, wouldn't that be something? Put a sail on that you can actually use when you're driving around in the truck. I wonder if that would help. We don't need electric, solar, or any of that kind of power. We just need wind. But anyway, it's definitely not because of that. I've been going around, so I'm hitting it from all ends as well as driving into it. So 17.2, whoop, just dropped back to 0.1 miles per gallon right now. That's pretty good, so I'm not sure. I mean, I know they changed the blend for the winter. You have summer gas, you have winter gas. I don't really know which one is supposed to give you better fuel economy. So anybody out there, and I'm sure there's somebody who knows, leave a comment, let us know. Do we get better fuel economy in the winter or the summer? I'd just be curious. Now, let's get on to what I need a little help with. Today made me realize something because it's really overcast out here today. It's drizzly and cloudy. And as I'm driving around, looking out of the hood, shooting this video, I've noticed that I'm not getting that glare that I get off of the hood most of the time because it's typically sunny here. And that's because of the clouds. So that got me thinking and I saw somebody who actually had one of those black uh, decal things on their hood. You know what I'm talking about? It goes right kind of in the V of the hood. And I've considered this before, and I made a video a while back talking about the glare off of this electric lime color. It's bright. Even had people comment on how my glasses sometimes look green. Uh, but I wonder, is that something that would really help? And is there any concern, I'm not talking about warranty, although I guess it would apply, but is there any concern as to damaging your paint if you put one of those on? Because I believe they're held on by adhesive. They're not like a static sticker or maybe like a wrap. That would be even better. I think if they were like a wrap material that you could clean off the hood, squirt it down with some kind of solution, and then squeegee out all the bubbles, that would be even better. And that's another thing with those though. How do you get the bubbles out? I mean, unless you have some kind of mission impossible device where you can kind of hang down from the ceiling, sprawl out and grab a squeegee and go across the center points in the hood, I can't reach. I mean, maybe if I was seven feet tall and had arms that were four feet long, I might be able to reach the center of the hood. But at five foot nine and a half, I can't quite reach the center of the hood. So how do you get the air bubbles out? I don't know. Maybe you could put the hood up and then lay across the roof and kind of squeegee down or something like that. Is there anybody out there who's actually ever installed one of these on their own truck? And then thinking about that, 
you know, I assume there are different designs and patterns you can go with. I mean, I've seen the black ones out there that kind of have the the white or the gray squiggly lines in it, you know, kind of like a, a geo terrain, whatever it's called, map or something on it. Maybe that's more of a Jeep thing, though. I don't know. But I have seen that out there. So I got to think that maybe you could get something like that for the Tacoma as well. And is it worth it? Does it really help? Because after all, you're not going to cover the whole hood. You're still going to have the sides uh, exposed. And no, I would not consider covering the sides. I'm not looking to have a, a an entirely black hood, if you will. I just don't think it would look good on the truck. Although there are some trucks out there that I've seen that are kind of half black. There are some manufacturers that are doing that. They're like white on the bottom and black on the top. And no, they're not police cars. Uh, and it actually looks pretty neat. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it would look great on lime green, though. So I'm considering doing that. Another option, of course, and people have mentioned, is tending the windshield. I am not uh, an advocate of tending the windshield, and I know you can tent it clear. That's probably the only way I would ever do it, and that's to cut down on UV rays for the inside. But you could tent it with some kind of darker tint, I suppose, and that would cut down on the glare that you get on the hood. But I'm not a big uh, fan of doing that, primarily because I believe that you really need to be able to see out of your windshield when you're driving. And no matter what anybody says, if you put some kind of a darker tint on your windshield, something that's not just clear, you are going to lose some vision. And that's just not something that I want. Speaking of tent, I gotta get my side windows tinted. You know, I'm now beyond the point where I'm gonna have to take this truck in to have it inspected anymore because fortunately here in Texas, they're doing away with the inspections that have been required every year since I've been here and I'm sure much longer. I had the Jeep or Gladiator rather that was illegal and I was forced to take the tent off my side windows. It was all fault of my own of course. I knew it was illegal but nonetheless I wouldn't want to put it on again and then blow what a hundred and some bucks. I think it's like a hundred and thirty some bucks and have to take it off but I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I need to get this truck in and get the side windows tinted. Uh, frankly to cut down on the glare from sun that comes in on the sides as well as to keep it a little bit cooler in here and to add to the look of the truck I think it looks really cool on any vehicle having window tent so anyway leave a comment let me know if you've ever done that blacked out decal or whatever it is that goes on the hood to reduce glare I'd be curious to know what you thought of it and how the install was if you actually did it yourself. And if you have any tips on where to get it, I'd be curious about that too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.